Woo! Fuel Test Drive Unlimited 2 and development. Another feature that didn't make it into TDE2. I'm Alex7, your TDE YouTuber, and let's get straight into the video. Now, as you guys already know, I talked to you a lot about some of the unreleased features that didn't make it to TDE2, either because Atari pretty much scrapped it or it didn't really make sense to have in the game. But now let's talk about a huge one, Fuel and TDU2. This was actually going to be a feature in TDU2, however, it was not actually implemented later on into the game. Now we all know TDU2 had a ton of gas stations scattered all around the island. And in fact, all these gas stations were supposed to be accessible. And like I said, Fuel was being discussed prior to the full development of TDU2, however, it was never tried or actually implemented implemented into the game to even test out because the game designers found it dumb and because you should always be at the gas station which when you really think about it that is true why would you be driving or leaving your house with your ferrari f12 on empty it doesn't really make any sense but on top of that you also got to understand one thing that argument may you know some people will say that's actually a stupid argument, some people will say it's not stupid, but the huge thing and the huge issue with having fuel in an open world racer is it's probably gonna have to be realistic. And when you add cars with a V12 engine with wide open throttle versus <laughs> any other vehicle, you're gonna start to notice some things, especially your gas tank draining very, very quickly. Because let's all be honest, for example, a V12 Ferrari is about 20 liters for a fuel for every 100 kilometers when you're going 100 kilometers at cruising speed. However, at wide open throttle, <laughs> that pretty much doubles 40 liters at full throttle. And when you really take in your gas tank, obviously isn't as big as the whole world, you're gonna notice your draining fuel quite quickly. And when you're cruising with your friends, most of the time you're going to want to race your friends. I doubt, let's all be honest, we're cruising 100 the whole entire way. That is big cap or even the dodge viper which if you search up the dodge viper's fuel efficiency right now so like i said not really fuel efficient in my opinion however that reason definitely makes a lot of sense as to why it wasn't fully implemented into the game because when you really think about it if you're cruising with your friends and especially if there aren't enough gas stations around the island you're going to run into a couple of issues now the first issue is obviously when you run out of gas what are you going to do most of the time, if there aren't enough gas stations around the island and you're cruising to certain points, you won't be able to get to these certain points, especially if you're doing races along the way there with your friends. So it definitely adds some hard experience to the game. And for the people who say, oh, well, why didn't they have a toggle in TD2? Well, the devs at ED Games decided that it should have been for everyone instead of a small percentage of the player base, because it makes the player difficulty very difficult to balance. And yeah, you could say one server for people with fuel, one server for people without fuel but what if there isn't anyone that's playing on the fuel or if there's a very small amount and it's hard for people to connect because you think about it a game like tdu2 which heavily relies on social features if you don't really have that many players playing the game in that game mode then it's definitely gonna hinder the experience for you, especially if you wanna do races or cruises or any other type of game mode where it involve having a huge player difficulty balance between fuel mode and no fuel mode. And we all know, for example, in TD1, however, TD1 Platinum, I should say, there's actually a fuel mod where all the cars that you drive actually have fuel and you have to stop at gas stations to fill up. There's a gas station needle, which obviously you guys can see in the background right now. And honestly, it's pretty fun. Don't get me wrong though, I've definitely run out of fuel quite a few times and the thing is when you run out of fuel you actually spawn at the nearest gas station to where you were. But the thing is doing cruises with fuel honestly especially in TD1 because there aren't that many gas stations around the island getting to certain points is a lot harder especially if you want to do a wide open throttle than anything else. Most of the time I'd get to the gas station pretty much on empty and that's not something I want to be doing every single time I'm driving or cruising with my friends. But before we finish off the video guys I also want to talk to you about the possibility of having fuel mode in TDUSC and my thoughts and opinions on if we should have it or not. But before I get into that, huge shout out to 21,000 subscribers pretty much, we're almost there. So guys, if you have not already, hit that subscribe button and hit that like button for more TDU content. Over 70% of you aren't subscribed to my channel, so it'd be very kind if you go ahead and do so. I'm not being big, I'm not being a simp, but 
it'd be greatly appreciated. But anyways, fuel into the USC. Honestly, I was thinking about it and listen, the argument about obviously <laughs> running out of fuel is a huge thing. And when you add a lot of gas stations, the map might look a bit weird, might look a bit out of place because you don't really have that many gas stations all around the island. I'm pretty certain of it if you really want to help out with the gameplay. Now obviously this also depends on the island they choose because if there are a lot of gas stations on the island then it would make a lot of sense. But unfortunately in Hawaii they only had roughly 5 of those actual gas stations so it would be kind of hard to drive around the whole island and <laughs> find fuel majority of the time, especially when there weren't any gas stations in the most northwest part of the island. However, my big thought, if KTR watching this and they wanted to think about implementing fuel, I was thinking, how could we possibly have fuel mode, but also not hinder the experience for other players? Well, we could have our own private lobbies that in this lobby, it actually activates fuel mode. And what I'm saying about this is, for example, say we have 10 player private lobbies. You invite all your friends and the lobby settings, you can say fuel mode on or off. And that actually affects the whole server. So if everyone has fuel mode on, that means that all of you can stop at gas stations, fill up, etc, etc. Which, honestly, because you're separated from all of the other player base, you can't really do it on online races, it's just you and your friends, so you just stop at the gas station, but then why does that really make any sense, because at the same time, you just cruise and stop at gas stations for fun and roleplay it, but yeah, it definitely is a touchy subject, and when you really think about it, it's a very hard one, so after thinking about that, I'm not really sure if I want to see fuel in TDSC, I do, but I don't, but guys, I'm asking you, do you want to see fuel in TDSC? Comment down below your thoughts on why you'd have it or why you wouldn't have it. And I can't wait to share with you guys some more TD2 unreleased content. Other than that, you already know what it is. I'm Alex7. I'm, I'll see you guys in another video. Whew, I'm out. Peace.